Okay, in this video I want to show you how to change out a screen on an HP 15 laptop uh, model. Uh, this particular screen I think is a 15.4 or 15.6 inch. Um, it's very easy to do, a lot simpler than you would think it would be if you've never done one before. Um, and of course this will work if your screen's completely cracked or um, you know if it's got lines through it you'll just need to change out the screen. Um, it could be pitch black and it, a lot of times that's the screen. And usually the, the cost on replacing it usually is anywhere from 30 bucks on the very low end to 50 to 60 on the high end. And um, you know I'd recommend getting one used. Sometimes you can pick up a new one, but eBay is really the best place. You could check uh, Amazon as well. And I would highly recommend you taking the screen out first and checking the model number on the back. Uh, and look it up via the model number on the back of your screen as opposed to typing in the model number of your computer because you'll find that you'll be able to get it a lot cheaper if you pinpoint the exact model number on the, on the back of your screen. Alright so in order to do it let's go ahead and unplug it and power it down and um, you'll need to take the battery out on the bottom. Again this is for the HP 15 models and that, rather that be 15 dash G, whatever, 15 dash uh, Q. Um, this particular one is uh, this is a 15 dash R122WM. And you'll find the model number here right on the right. And you'll recognize the HP 15s. They'll have a, a real slick battery on the back, real thin. As you can see that. And, uh, Go ahead and keep your battery out. And I also got a video on my YouTube channel about how to upgrade the RAM if you ever need to. Um, or if you want to upgrade the hard drive or if you know if your hard drive goes bad. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is take the bezel off. This plastic thing around the screen is called a, a bezel, lid bezel. And a lot of laptop screens will have screws here on the on the four corners of the bezel, which fortunately this one doesn't, so you don't have to worry about taking any um, screws out of the bezel. Only thing you'll need is uh, a little steak knife or a, a small flathead screwdriver and uh, a Phillips head screwdriver. So you want to just carefully work work the uh, bezel off. And what I'll do, see there I'm getting a, getting in between the bezel and the lid. And then we'll go around here. So, you know, it's simple physics. You just, you don't want to break it. So you just go around it lightly. And this is actually coming off very, very easily surprisingly easy. So it's just like a picture frame. And you might have to put a little bit of work down here. There's, it looks like there's some um, some glue residue here that you have to you know basically pry open. You could hear it. And then there you go. And there's like a little hinge cover that looks like it's included with the bezel. some glue residue here. And that pops right off. I find this interesting. There's the um, that's the inverter right here underneath the screen. 
All right, so now there should be about four screws that's on each corner. You just want to get the, the, the top two screws. And it's basically, there's a two hinges, the left and the right hinge that you're going to want to take the screen off. There's going to be two or three screws on each side of the hinge. Alright, so got those two off. And then you want to gradually take your, your screen off. Interesting. So there's actually four. There's two here that's got the hinge, and there's two more to the top of the screen here. Okay. Now. the first time I've seen this design before. Alright, so we're going to want, there's going to be two screws here on the bottom. One. Two. And this just lifts right out. And there's one ribbon. Yeah, that's connected uh, to the bottom of your screen bezel, as you can see right here. So what you want to do is you want to take this tape off and just pull that out. So I was wrong when I said that you have to unscrew the, the left and right bezel on the sides. So fortunately with this particular model you don't have to do it. To be honest with you, this, this particular HP line, the 15, is a little bit cheaply made. Um, and I've seen them with really lower processors, and um, you know, like one, one, this, you know, you might have one that's like one gigahertz um, AMD processor. So they're not the most expensive laptops, but it's worth, you know, if you got a cracked screen, it's worth, you know, setting it up and you know, watch YouTube or whatever you do. See there? So that's your VGA connection. And that's just going to connect to your new screen again. And pretty much that's it. And the only thing you're going to do is just recycle this. Now, there's going to be a model number on the bottom of your screen right here. And that's what that's what you're going to go. You're going to go to Amazon or you want to go to eBay. And you're going to plug that model number in. And you're going to go buy it now Lowe's first and see what they're priced at. Like I said, you should be able to get one for 30 bucks to um, 60 at the very most. And this particular one is an. Usually, it starts with an LT. This one's an LTN 156A's and Apple T's and Tom 35-H01. <coughs> Excuse me. So once you get your new screen in. Only thing you want to do is just reverse the whole process and put your ribbon back in. It just slides right in there. And so again, make sure You take the screen out and you read the model number before you buy it on eBay. So there we go. That goes back in there. And what you want to do is you're going to do redo put the four screws here, two there, two there, one here, one there. Re put the bezel back in, it just pops right back on, and bam, you're ready to go. So pretty easy screen assembly. Disassembly and assembly. And uh, so thanks and hope you enjoyed the video.